What's up, guys? I'm Corey Arkin, and today we're here at the back lot of Full Sail University talking all about 360 cameras. Now, with more and more options available, it might be hard to know which is the best 360 camera for yourself. But don't worry, because today we're giving you all of our top picks, no matter what your budget might be. All right, guys, so today we're here with Dondi Sanchez, who is a pro in the field and a full sale graduate, who's gonna tell us some of his favorite cameras when it comes to 360 video. So what do we got here? Why are we starting with this guy? Well, this little Samsung guy right here, the Samsung Gear 360, you cannot go wrong with this, especially if you want to start getting into 360 video. This is great for beginners. It does so many things for the price point. It records up to 4K. It shoots up to five different modes. It's resistant to water and dust, okay? And you could even go Facebook Live with it. Facebook Live, Instagram Live, everyone's Perfect. doing that. And it's so cute because it's so little. I love that. You could take this thing and put it on a drone with the mounting that it comes on the bottom. You just hang it upside down like that and you will get amazing 360 degree aerial footage. Mm -hmm. It's great for travel bloggers. Oh, great for travel. Yeah. They would, they'll love this. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah. But why is this one good for, you know, beginners starting out with 360? I think the number one reason why is because of the price point. Everything I told you, you get it for under $250. Wow. You can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong. So this is the first of three cameras that we shot a short narrative today. And what we want to do is we want to give all the viewers the option to see all three. All three different price points, three different cameras, and so they could make the educated guess on what's going to be the best thing for their application. We are going to be learning about what electronic field production is. So let me start by asking you, what is electronic field production? Psst. Hey, you're taking notes, right? Let me get those after class. I really don't That's feel like perfect. taking any. That's exactly right. All right, so Samsung Gear 360. Check out the video below. But before we get to that, what else have you got to show me today? Our next thing is this guy right here. This is crazy looking. <laughs> it is crazy looking. It kind of looks like UFO-ish a little it bit does. if you look at it. But this here is made by GoPro, uh -huh. GoPro 360 Rise. And this one here actually carries 14 GoPros. Now they have other rigs, but the one we're using today has 14 GoPros. Okay, so this isn't a camera. This is 14 cameras. Yes, 14 individual wow. cameras. Okay. So this is stereoscopic right here, meaning that each one has its own individual eye. Just like you'd have a left and a right, these, you have a left and a right eye just like that, and it gives you that true 3D feel, like the way you look. Okay, so I see there's two cameras on each facet of this guy in the top and, and the bottom. The bottom. <laughs> cool, neat. So how does that work in post? I imagine that's a lot of work. Yeah, well even before you even get to post, there's a lot of work in production as well. So a few things that you have to really get right before you even start shooting. Mm -hmm. So some of the things are, first you have to make sure that each individual camera has the right resolution, the right frame rate, and because if you don't, once you go into post, it doesn't matter what you shot because it won't it won't read match, up. It won't match right. up and you won't have anything. Right. And then your whole day is just shot and all the money you spent is gone. <laughs> well, because there's 14 different cameras. Because there's 14 different you cameras. You have to set so, each one right. exactly the same. That makes right. sense. And it, GoPro does make it a little easy for you. So you can actually set it up to your Wi-Fi remote with your GoPro, mm -hmm. right? And you can sync them all up and press record and it'll record all of them. And it, each one will start like a millisecond. Up. So what I would recommend, do it all by hand, turn them all on, Press record, it's, I think it might be double the work, but hey, at least you know right. that it's right and everything's rolling. Do a clap sync, okay? That's for the post side. And even get take it up, shake it a little bit, turn it once or twice to give it a, a jerk so when your editor in post syncs it all up, it's easy for them to get the start point. Okay, so when we're talking about price, what are we looking at here with this? Well, this price point here is more for the intermediate. This is the person that's going above and beyond. They, you know, they already got their feet wet. So now they want to do better stuff. So this is more the intermediate price. We're talking about seven grand right here for everything that you see, including the GoPros, the rig, the media, the mm -hmm. stand, everything you see here is about seven grand. Right. So it's definitely an investment, but it's worth it. We're going to be talking about electronic field production. I know it's an odd topic and a lot of people don't even know what that is. What is electronic field production? Yeah, you're taking notes, right? After class, I'm going to use them. I really don't feel like copying them down right now. So far, they'll be able to look at the two videos we've done and compare the two, and then they can make their choice. Make sure you check out the 360 Rise video below. Okay, so you said that this is intermediate. So you're telling me there's more. You can oh, go up from there's there. There's more. I'm going to show you. Right. You want to check it out? Yeah. All right. Okay. Here it is. 
it is. Donnie, what is this? So here is the Nokia Ozo. Okay. This is the cream of the crop. This is the Mac Daddy of them all. It has eight sensors that see all of 290 degrees. So like today, when we were shooting the narrative, with this camera having the eight sensors, the eight cameras looking, we could actually see where the stitches are. And we could actually, they give us a little bit of variable, we could place them in certain things. What, what, are, what are stitches? Okay, so <laughs> stitches, so each camera, right, since they overlap each other, yeah. and that's how it stitches it together. So if you have one image here, and then with this camera, and then with this camera, and you bring them over just a little bit, and we can place them where we want. In real time. In real okay. time. It kind of helps us not get in trouble in post. Because right. beforehand, we could see everything live. With the other cameras, we can't do that. So here's a couple cool things. This angle bracket, that it came with two brackets, a straight one uh -huh. and an angle one. Uh -huh. This angle one, the way they did it, they did it on purpose, so it matches the back of it. This is the back. And it helps eliminate, like the 360 one, the GoPro Hero mm -hmm. one we did, there is no hiding in that. Right. Well, here, you'll be able to hide certain things. So in post, they're going to mask all this whole thing, this whole dolly. Right, out. so you can have it on a dolly. You can exactly. move it. There's yeah. certain things where you can't do that with the other one. Right. Okay, well, it seems like there's so many great features about this camera. Is there a downside? Yes. One. Yeah? Yes. And that's the price. It's 45 for the camera, uh -huh. right? But and then in order to get it functioning to the way you want it to be able to use it, includes the hard drives, the cables, the stands, and even all the software, you're at 60,000. Wow, okay, so that's an investment. It's an investment. This is for the true, true 360 filmmaker. Yeah, but I mean like what you're paying for, like you said, is workflow and quality and, and your time, really, at the end you're of the day. You're paying for simplicity. So. What is electronic field production? Hey, good answer. Let me get those bounce over class. And pass this in there. What is electronic food production? Well, it's amazing, and thank you so much for sharing sure. with us today the beginner level with the Samsung gear, mm -hmm. we had the GoPro rig, and now the Nokia Ozo, the creme de la creme yeah. of all the 360 cameras. Well, there you have it. That's the lowdown on all our favorite 360 cameras. So make sure you check out the videos so you can see the scenes in each format and check out all of our 360 videos. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. If you like what you saw today, make sure you like and subscribe. And to find out more about Full Sail University, go to fullsail.edu. See you later, guys.